In this tutorial, we are going to duplicate sheet tabs in the same Google Sheet using App Script. Much in the same way as you can right click a tab and click on duplicate like this. However, we are also going to rename those tabs to suit our needs because to be honest, this copy of is a real pain. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and we are going to dive into our code. Now, this is part of a series on duplicating spreadsheets duplicating sheet tabs and duplicating ranges in Google Sheets with Google Apps Scripts. In our previous tutorial, we duplicated spreadsheets. And now we are up to duplicating sheets. Each one of these tutorials are independent and on their own. If you want to just grab a piece of it, or if you want to follow along the entire playlist, please go ahead. This spreadsheet here is a starter sheet for you, and you can access it in the link in the description below. Go ahead and make a copy for yourself, and then we'll get started writing some code together. Okay, you're back. So go up into extensions and click on app scripts and this should open up into here and then go ahead and select the duplicate sheets file. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is learn how to duplicate an active sheet. What do I mean by this? An active sheet is one of the ones that has been selected. So this is an active sheet at the moment. This is an active sheet at the moment. This is an active sheet at the moment. When we're duplicating, we want to also duplicate everything across. So we're just making a carbon copy of the entire sheet tab, all the columns across and all the rows down, along with all the data validation and formulas that are available within it. Okay, enough chatter, time for clicky clacky. So first things first, let's duplicate an active sheet tab. So let's make a function and we'll call it duplicate active tab cool let's grab our spreadsheet as a constant it's going to be our active one the one we're currently working on so we can use ss equals spreadsheet app get active spreadsheet or get active up to you personal choice is get active spreadsheet and all we're going to run here is ss dot duplicate active sheet and we'll hit save here let's go ahead and run cool so right here right here we have a copy of well this is odd which is the active sheet we're on if we'll go to go over to the emoji and hit run again we now have a copy of emoji uh, and if we made a copy of copy of emoji got meta here we would now have a copy of copy of emoji of course not frank we copy him we now have a copy of not frank let me just go ahead and delete those out and we're back to well this is odd emoji and not frank awesome as i said earlier what if we want to rename the tab so for example, what if I want to rename, well, this is odd to do something stupid like it. Well, first we're going to, instead of having copy duplicate active sheet here, we will make a constant variable called dupe tab. And we'll make that equal to this now. And then we want to rename the tab. And every time we make a duplication, instead of saying copy of, copy of, copy of, we want to just use an asterisk because it's a little bit easier to read down the bottom here instead of having a really long phrase as a tab name. So let's just make a little helper function down here and we'll call this uh, function rename tab. And what's rename tab going to take? It needs to take the tab that we just created. So we'll just call that tab. And it also needs to take the name that we're going to generate for its own name. Cool. Let's put a bunch of comments in here. It renames, and then our first parameter is a tab, and this parameter type is a spreadsheet app dot um, sheet, and that's called tab. And the other parameter is a string with the name Kubernetes. All right, let's finish off our little helper function now. Now you might think this is a little bit of overkill and it might well be for you because simply all you could possibly do is say tab dupe tab dot set name and then we can give it a name of what do we say it we'll hit save but let's try this out a couple of times we'll hit run 
okay works there's it down the bottom fantastic let's hit run again copy of it and then we've got an error exception a sheet with the name it already exists yeah it does so we've made an error here because we can't make it appear twice you can't have the same tab name down the bottom multiple times so we need a handle for that so we're going to delete it here and we're going to delete it here and get rid of our log and let's continue on with our little helper function okay so first thing we need to do is to get a list or an array of all the sheet names on our spreadsheet and so let's say const sheet name or sheet names and i'll say spreadsheet app and we're going to change some stuff here so we'll say get active spreadsheet ink and then get sheets this time and this is going to give us a, an array of constructors for each one of these sheets so from each one of the sheets we can then map using the javascript map method and then say sheet so for each sheet we want to grab or return sheet dot get name okay and then what we might do is a little recursive method inside here to check if the name already exists and if it does we just want to add an asterisk to the front of this name and then we can add multiple asterisks the more times we copy it you can add something yourself or find some other logic for this but let's just do that now let's make this recursive function uh, check name oh or recursive method i should say check name and it's going to be a say what will it say if sheet name includes so remember all sheet name sheet names is plural so if this array of sheet names that we've drawn from here so currently we've got these three in an array at the moment if it includes the current name that we've provided here then we want to return check name and inside that check name we are going to do uh, some quotation marks asterisk put in a plus sign here to concatenate and we'll want to add it to the title nice if everything is hunky-dory however we just want to say tab set name and that's going to equal title cool so in a function here we need to feed in a title so we'll put our title here and the last thing we need to do is to call this internal method so we'll say uh, check name and that will be name that we're feeding in hit save here okay so we don't want this anymore so we'll comment that out and let's just head down and we will call this rename tab so rename tab and what does it take well it takes a tab spreadsheet app so we'll say dupe tab and then the next argument is the name what did we deem it to be we said it it's safe let's run nope we're all good so it has appeared now so now we have a copy of it called it let's see what happens if we run run this again based on the active sheet so it could be this one it could be this one doesn't matter let's go back to this one we hit run oh we got a little error here exceeded our call stack that should be title or in an endless loop so hit run again okay it appeared here delete that one okay so we can call from either one of these because we know if we duplicate it, it's going to turn to it so we can hit run it appears again so we've got two it's with two stars should get a third star here so that's off that active now this one is active here we could even go back to this one again to make that active and hit run the stars are just added to the start of each of the names now that's pretty helpful you might also just want to reference the original tab name so if we want to do that so beforehand we'd need to get the active sheet so we would say const active sheet name and that would be equal to ss.get active sheet this one here tab. and then we'll say get name and then we could just copy that and whack that in there and then hit run now 
well, this is odd. We'll have an asterisk appended to it each time. Okay, so that's active sheets. What do we need to do to just grab any sheet or selected sheet name? Well, it's not much different. We can still use this rename tab helper function here. Just let me go ahead and delete these out. So it's not so crazy. Okay, so we're all back to the normal again. And then we'll go and just select this and shift alt down arrow to make a duplicate and just change a few things here. We'll call this a duplicate sheet tab. Okay, because we can't have the same function name. And then we'll say spreadsheet is fine. And then to get our sheet name, we'll actually need our sheet name this time. We'll call this uh, sheet equals spreadsheet get sheet by name. And then we'll call a sheet name. Now this could be this one here. So I could double click this and put this in quotation marks like this. And instead of duplicating the active sheet here, we can use the sheet dot copy to method here. And this allows us to copy to anywhere. So I could copy to the existing sheet or I could copy to another spreadsheet. For this tutorial, we're just going to work on the existing sheet. So we'll say SS here. And we can delete that one out. And we're pretty much done. Uh, let's go back to our it one. It's easier to read. And we'll hit save. And then we'll go up and select our duplicate sheet tab and hit run. We've got our first it there. We can hit duplicate it again. We've got our second it. Now you might want to uh, put numbers here. So, so one, two, three, four, and followed by the, the tab name. Totally up to you. In the next tutorial, we are going to cover duplicating or making a copy of a sheet tab or a number of selected sheet tabs and then pasting them in as their own sheet tab in a separate spreadsheet or a new spreadsheet. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.